All this change was destabilizing in the organization, though. For Jen Smith, that meant watching a steady stream of friends leaving and a rising anxiety about her and Phil's place in the church. Spring of 2012, multiple people that, pastors and families that we knew and loved and respected, just one after the other, people were getting fired or leaving, and it just was a very unsettling time. At a dinner before a members meeting that spring, Jen decided to introduce herself to Sutton. Even though he'd been there a year, they hadn't met, and such is life at a multi-site. He and I talked a bit, and he kind of shared a little vulnerable tidbit about his family and his story. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll go there. I said, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad to meet you. This has been a hard year. Phil and I have been at Marcel for a long time, and seeing all of the changes are really really concerning to me. And I said, frankly, I believe and know that I can continuing to see a difference between Marcel the church and Marcel the business. And Marcel the business may not need men like my husband, but Marcel church certainly does. And that was really the end of the conversation. It was a five minute conversation. I left feeling like just electric, electric with ner- with nervous energy and and kind of proud of myself that I had act- that I had dared speak something true like that and um, and I told one of my friends and she was utterly mortified because she knew what it would mean. Phil got a call the next morning and was told his wife was grasping for power and that he needed to get his home in order. At the time, Jen was a regular contributor to the blog and one of their more widely read authors. But a women's ministry leader showed up at her house to meet with her and let her know that the executive elders felt she needed a break from that ministry, that it had become an idol. For much of the next year, she felt ostracized. But Phil's ministry continued and even flourished. One day in the midst of all of this, she saw Mark alone and approached him. And cheered up and said, Mark, this has been a really hard season. I am so sorry for what happened with Sutton. Um, I really I really love you and care about you, and I'm sorry. Mark called Phil later that day and said he was worried about Jen, that she seemed unstable and maybe needed a psyche valve, and that he'd pay for it so long as Phil never told Jen. And so he didn't for four months. And I was really kind of floundering and left out to dry with, like, like I... I, I was stripped of what it felt like kind of in my marriage. I felt alone I, in my community. I felt alone. And I really just started to question, like, what did I really do wrong? Nine months passed, and she remained out in the cold and heard nothing. And then, with no explanation, she was invited to start writing for the website again. So she responded by asking to meet with Dave Bruskus and with Mark, since word had come down from the executive team to remove her from ministry in the first place. She didn't ask to meet with Sutton, since they didn't have any relationship aside from the one conversation that started all of this. She wanted to sit with them and let them know how deeply the experience had wounded her. Dave Bruskus apologized and went so far as acknowledging that he didn't even remember it happening, which was a hurtful thing to hear in itself. When she and Phil met with Mark, it was an entirely different experience. He spent the whole time making eye contact only with Phil and at one point said, To Phil, I reserve the right to speak only to heads of households. So, again, would not even give me the... He wanted me to write again, and he wanted what I could get from him, but he would not even look me in the eye and acknowledge my plea to him to have some sort of relational restoration. And on top of that, eviscerated Phil for... Um, telling me about the psyche valve comment. And this is all somewhere, real marriages just happened and, you know, they're teaching and talking about not having secrets in marriage and he's, you know, telling Phil what a fool he was for telling me about. So it just, that whole time from, it was literally my birthday, June 11th, 2012 on, I was done. Phil and Jen had been at the church for 16 years by then that loyalty didn't seem to have earned them anything. They'd face that reality again before long. 